Hey everybody, I am John Barker and in today's episode of Here to Record Show and Tell, we're going to take a look at two iPad apps to control your ATEM switcher. That's Strata Pro and Strata Macros. In the interest of full disclosure, the makers of the Strata apps have given us free access to both of these apps to make this review, but they're not going to watch this video or review it before I upload it to YouTube. And in this past video, we've actually taken a look at Strata View and Strata Lite, and those are sort of the entry level apps on your iPad to control the ATEM. So Strata Pro is definitely a big step up. So when you first download and open Strata Pro, you'll get a glimpse at the potential of all the buttons. And you can have a play around with these buttons, but they won't really do anything for now until you set up the app properly. To configure Strata Pro, all you have to do is press settings at the top right, and then you can enter the IP address of your switcher. Now you will need your switcher and your iPad to be on the same network in order to make all this work. Don't forget to hit save at the top left and then you'll see the app connect to your switcher and you'll also see the layout change drastically and this will depend really on the switcher you have. We have an ATEM Television Studio HD so a lot of the buttons have now disappeared. From here you can just press buttons and you can operate your switcher as you would expect. Along the top you'll see a few options. Uh, first up is auxiliary so here you can actually just set the auxiliary output. We only have one on our switcher but you'll see other ones up here if you've got a bigger switcher. And then over to the audio section and basically this looks similar to the audio section within the ATEM software control and in here you can pull up and down sliders and adjust your audio. And then finally along the top you'll see macros. And here you can actually just fire macros that you've already recorded or if you don't have any you can actually create them within Strata Pro. If you want to record a macro within Strata Pro just hold down record macro until it turns red. And then I'll just press a few buttons to record something and then I'll press record macro again to complete it. And then you just hit play macro and it'll play back what we just recorded. As you can see here, it was just a demo, but it's flashing around and it worked. At the minute, we only use inputs uh, 5, 6, 7 and 8 on our item switcher. So within the settings, we can change things around and remap the buttons to suit our needs. And once I hit save, you can see the layout is now changed. So next up, let's take a look at Strata Macros. When you launch it for the first time, nothing really happens. There's nothing really to show. So you need to configure the IP address of your item. After I type in my IP address and hit save, I can see there's only one macro in my ATEM, so let's, uh, let's make another one. In the ATEM software control, I'm just making a quick macro here that brings some cameras to preview, then waits, then does the same, then waits, then fades. And I'll just stop that and head back over to the iPad and you can see nothing's changed in here. I'll just hit settings and then go back out again and I can see my macro list is now refreshed. And all I have to do is press that on the iPad and you can see it works. If you have loads of macros and you want to make some a little more noticeable or recognizable, you can change the colors of each of the macro buttons. So within ATEM software control, I can hit edit on this macro and then I can type blue within the notes. Once I refresh the list over on the iPad, you can see that this button is now blue. And you can also do this with a few other colors. So let's talk about the pros of these apps. For Strata Pro, one of the best things is that it has all the buttons in one place and it's already built for you. You don't have to do what I've done in the past in my previous video is go into touch OSC and design layouts yourself. Um, this has already got all those buttons gathered in the way that you'd be most familiar with them. And for Strata Macros, you can have these nice big buttons, different colors that you're ready to press, or maybe an assistant can press sitting beside you, and uh, you can really just reach out and press those macros and fire them very easily. And in terms of the cons, uh, Wi-Fi is a difficult thing to trust whenever you're in like a pro environment. So you really wanna make sure that you have a very good Wi-Fi connection between the iPad and your router. And we also found that these apps were a little bit prone to crashing and a little bit slow at times. Now, to be fair, this might come down to the iPad. It's a little bit old as well. So you may want to think about investing in a newer iPad if you're really gonna trust these apps uh, to use throughout a show. And finally, and this is the way it is with a lot of these software-based things, you've got no actual buttons to press. Uh, we're a big fan of buttons. We've used MIDI keyboards in the past. Now we use a Logitech controller. So having a physical button means you don't have to look down and, uh, and press. On the iPads, you kind of just have to keep looking down to make sure you're pressing the same place. So that's definitely a con, but that's a con of software-based solutions in general. And finally, let's talk about price. Strata Pro and Strata Macros are both on the App Store for $50 each. And while that seems like a pretty high price tag, um, in general, if you want to buy a custom-made controller for your ATEM switcher, you're looking at a lot of money. So perhaps an iPad that you already have and this app bundled together, and you'll have a nice control interface for your ATEM. So if you want to weigh up the options, it may well make sense to go for the iPad version. So that's it. If you're somebody who wants to use uh, all the buttons on your ATEM from your iPad, then Strata Pro might be the good way for you. 
And if you want to delegate an assistant to just press macros during a show, then I think the iPad interface and Strata macros is a good way to go. I hope you found this useful. If you do have any questions, please let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.